So some of you may be planning to go to Japan and if you are going to Japan, you're most likely going to visit Tokyo which is in the Kanto region. And I think it's just such a shame if you only see Tokyo and not the other prefectures which are only one or two hours away by train and you can use your JR pass for this so it's basically free to go to and it makes a great day trip. And just traveling a few hours away from Tokyo, you can really see the real Japan away from the touristy areas. So today I made up a list of all the places you can travel in the Kanto region and I've kept it on a low budget so you don't have to have a lot of money to have fun. I hope it gives you guys some ideas of what to do in the Kanto region, so let's get on with it. Japan has 8 regions but today we will be looking at the Kanto region. And the Kanto region consists of Tokyo, Saitama, Gunma, Tochigi, Ibaraki, Chiba, and Kanagawa. So let's start off with what to do in Chiba. If you are coming into Japan, most likely you will arrive at the Narita International Airport in Chiba. So why not take a look around while you're there? Apart from the very popular Disneyland and Disney Sea, there is actually much more you can do in Chiba. Like Mount Nokogiri, where you can see a spectacular view of Tokyo Bay. There are also many statues throughout the trail for you to discover. Or how about checking this artificial island which connects Chiba Prefecture with Kanagawa Prefecture and ride in the tunnel under the sea. And if you have some time before your flight leaves, make sure to check out Narita-san. It's only 15 minutes from the airport, it's great for a stopover and you can see some traditional Japanese streets. Or how about checking out the famous Japanese soy sauce brand Kikoman and learn how they make their famous soy sauce. Next, on top of Chiba, we have Ibaraki. Built in 1905, this is the perfect place to go if you want to immerse yourself in Japanese art and culture. Next, we have Fukudo the Falls, which is one of the three most beautiful waterfalls in Japan and it's great to view all year round. And what's great about Ibaraki Prefecture is that you can escape the tourist areas and really see more of the real Japan. Or how about visiting Hitachi Seaside Park to see beautiful flowers all year round. And above Ibaraki we have Tochigi. Make sure to check out Toba World Square when you're in Tochigi as it has miniature models of architecture and buildings from all around the world. Nikko is a very popular destination in Tochigi and this shrine is a world heritage site. Edo Wonderland is a theme park where the culture and life of the Edo period is reproduced. If you like samurais and ninjas then I really recommend to check this place out. If you're looking to relax in one of Japan's famous hot springs then Kusatsu Onsen is the place to go. It's ranked top 3 in all of Japan. Or how about embracing nature and taking a hike at the beautiful Oze National Park. Also check out the animals at the Gunma Safari Park. Just be careful not to get attacked by them. And above Tokyo we have Saitama. Japan has one of the best technologies for trains so make sure to check out the Railway Museum in Saitama where it showcases different types of trains. If you're a fan of Ghibli then you must come to this forest where Totoro was modelled and there may be some familiar places you saw in the movie. Kawagoe is only one hour away from Tokyo however here you can see the traditional Edo period housing. Next up we've got Kanagawa. Minato Mira is one of my most favourite parts in Kanagawa. It's very developed and it's a very large space area. It's got everything here from shopping to entertainment to great scenery. But my top secret favourite place to go is this port terminal here where you can see the whole of Minato Mire. And it's just so beautiful when the sun sets and especially at night time. So let's keep my top secret location between us. Kamakura is a beautiful small city with lots of history to it. It's often called the Kyoto of the Kanto region and it's got many shrines, temples, historical monuments and beautiful beaches. So it's definitely a must go if you're in the Kanto region. 
Enoshima is an island just off coast but connected by the bridge with the mainland. It's popular for its beaches and on a clear day you can see Mount Fuji. And last but not least we've got Tokyo! Takotamagawa is a very high scaled place, it's got very nice shops, restaurants, cafes and you just have to check out the delicious food from their department stores. And what I like about Takotamagawa the best is that it's got your high-end stuff and then it's got beautiful nature right near the station. And if you're visiting Tokyo, you must try the famous Monjayaki from Tsukishima. And my last tip for you guys is when you are in Tokyo, instead of going where everyone normally goes, why don't you do something a little bit different, take a stroll around the back streets of Japan, see what you can find, get lost and really just experience Japan. up if it was helpful so it will give me some indication of whether to do a video like this but on a different region and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye